It's not a wildfire season anymore. It's a wildfire year. This is a terrible year for wildfires. Already this year in the United States, 50% more land has burned compared with last year, with 107 big fires and over 2 million acres currently in flames. Record high temperatures in Southern Europe have led to wildfires in Greece and Turkey, and wildfires began in Siberia earlier than normal. Human-caused climate change has led to higher temperatures around the world, which speeds the spread of wildfires. Dry air saps all the moisture out of forests and brush, making them explosively flammable. And once a fire starts, hot temperatures and drier air helps the fire spread and makes it harder to extinguish. Turkey is battling its worst wildfires in decades, which has killed at least four people and caused thousands of evacuations. And Greece had its hottest day on record and wildfires forced a dozen villages near Athens to evacuate. California has seen a massive 151% increase in the number of acres burned across the state when compared with last year. An operations chief with the U.S. Forest Service said, these are not the normal fires anymore. It's just intense fire behavior, and it's not what we are used to. The bootleg wildfire in Oregon grew to be the biggest in the U.S. last month. All those wildfires burning the western U.S. and Canada put off so much smoke that the hazy overcast drifted eastward over cities like Chicago, New York City, and Boston. The smoke was so bad that it made the sun appear red in New York City. The western U.S. has also been hit by an unstoppable drought, draining water reservoirs to their bottoms, setting off fights over river water, and turning trees and shrubs from shade into tinder. The fire season in the Arctic, which normally runs from May to October, started early this year, with fires sparking in Siberia in April. All these fires have huge financial and political implications. Canadian wildfires have forced lumber companies to slow production, which has spiked lumber futures, and has even slowed grain imports into the country. And in Turkey, the fires engulfing the southern coast of the country for over a week now have sparked criticism against the president for a slow and chaotic response. With hotter temperatures and drier conditions lasting longer into the fall and winter than they used to, the fire season is also lasting longer. As one climatologist told me recently, it's not a fire season anymore. It's a fire year. I'm Josh Saul for Bloomberg News in New York. Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world and tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about.